Well, um, I don't think I need to tell you that I'm absolutely delighted with this decision. Um, it was a, an honour to be selected in 2009 uh, as an astronaut into the European astronaut candidate as a as British citizen. But it's, it really is a true privilege to be assigned to a long duration mission to the International Space Station. For me, it feels like the, the highlight um, uh, and the, the real high point of a, a long career in aviation. 18 years in the British Army as a pilot, an instructor pilot, and then a test pilot. And then since then, working in civilian industry as a test pilot, and for the last four years with the European Space Agency training as an astronaut. Um, and this really is the culmination of all of that. And I'm, I'm truly grateful to my friends, family, and my professional colleagues who have provided all the training and su support to prepare me for the challenge that lies ahead. And I really will be embracing the challenge over the next two and a half years to prepare the, for this mission. Um, I think that the, the mission to the International Space Station is going to be uh, a wonderful opportunity, not just for, the, for Europe and European science, but also in particular for the UK, and for UK science and education, and for industry as well. And I really hope that we will do everything we can to make the most of this fantastic opportunity. Um, and I shall just finish by answering a couple of questions which I'm sure will be coming my way anyway. Uh, yes, I do play the guitar, but very badly. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't inflict my singing on anybody. So <laughs> it's a bit too early to tell now exactly the experiments that I'll be conducting during my, my six-month uh, tour. But uh, suffice to say that there are uh, rolling experiments in all sorts of different fields. For example, human physiology, which I'm sure will pay, play a large part. Uh, medical research into vaccines, for example. Fluid physics, astrobiology. Um, and they're just a, a, an example of some of the things that are being conducted at the moment and will continue on into uh, the, the mid, mid part of this decade. One of my sons is, is far too young to understand. He's only 18 months, but my four and a half year old sort of cottoned onto the concept. Uh, and he's also been out to Houston um, and he's visited the neutral buoyancy laboratory where we do the spacewalk training. So he's, uh, he's seen the spacesuits and uh, all the activities that go on there. So no, they were, they were thrilled. They've, they always have been extremely supportive of my career when I was a test pilot and as an astronaut and they'll continue to do so. Uh, something that uh, has amazed me during the, the, the last increment of uh, Chris Hadfield is that um, you're in a position as an astronaut on the International Space Station to be able to inspire the world. And I think he did that incredibly well. He, he managed to um, pick various uh, events and features of countries all over the world and really embrace uh, the world as a whole and embrace every nation. Now, that, that's a huge ambition, obviously, but I certainly will be, as a European astronaut, I'll be hoping to inspire European citizens and, and certainly as a UK national, British people as well.